coming to the third bit which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 and x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So we need to divide the second polynomial by the first polynomial. First polynomial becomes divisor and the second polynomial becomes dividend. So we can write the divisor here which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 and the dividend here which is x power 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1. So the highest degree term of the dividend is x power 5 and the highest degree term of the divisor is x cube. On dividing them we get x square. So when x square is multiplied by the divisor which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 it gives x to the power of 5 minus 3x cube plus x square. So x square can be written at the place of the quotient and the product can be written here x power 5 minus 3x cube plus x square. So x power 5 and minus x power 5 can be cancelled. Minus 4x cube plus 3x cube gives minus x cube and x square and minus x square will be cancelled. This becomes 3x plus 1. So this is the new dividend which has the highest degree term as minus x cube and the highest degree term of the divisor is x cube. So on dividing them we get minus 1. So minus 1 multiplied by the divisor which is x cube minus 3x plus 1 gives minus x cube plus 3x minus 1. So let us write minus 1 at the place of the quotient and this can be written here minus x cube plus 3x and minus 1. So on subtracting we get minus x cube and plus x cube can be cancelled 3x and minus 3x can be cancelled and this becomes 2 now the degree of the 2 is less than the degree of the divisor so we need to stop the division here so this can be treated as the remainder and this can be treated as quotient since remainder is equal to 2 which is not equal to 0 we can say that the second polynomial factor is not the first polynomial that means the first polynomial x cube minus 3x plus 1 is not a factor of the second polynomial which is x to the power of 5 minus 4x cube plus x square plus 3x plus 1.